Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the StockSwish.com Market Review. This is a, a review of the SPY. I did do a market review yesterday, and lo and behold, the market did exactly what I said. It gapped up this morning and had a beautiful bullish move, and you could have played the market today aggressively out of the game, and market got to the next target, which was 188. It actually went through the target of 188 and actually, actually gapped up to the second target, then went to the next target, which was 188. And of course, the next target is 188.71. Well, really, the next target's 189. Okay? So, because we gapped up, and this isn't like what I would consider a big gap up, but it's like it's this is hefty considering this goings on here. I mean, let's just take a look at it. Market gapped up, traded up, market gapped up, gapped up. So there's a lot of gapping going on here in the market. That's why these bars look condensed, even though this is crazy bullish, it doesn't show in the actual bodies because it's happening really in the gaps and then the fast moves in here, like that happened here on the morning of the Friday and then the morning of today. So it's kind of, if you don't look at the intraday, if you're not looking at the intraday to see this bullish movements that's going on in here, or if you're not reading the gaps, you're, you're kind of missing the boat here because it's actually very bullish. And that's the reason that these bodies are small to medium size and not crazy big. Let's look at the morning. Jeez, the market's bullish. I've been saying it every day. I said it again this morning, and the people in the room are like, you say it every day, and it's true. I say it every day. Just I just have to remind everybody not to do anything but go long this market. So here we have this. You could have bought this at a one-minute high. If you did, you came in, you got an ad. Could have lowered the stop here. Nice rally all the way up to the target and beyond. Target was 188, 123 cents past it. Beautiful move. So in here, you would have gotten into 187.70, or you could have gotten in here at 187.66. Pretty much the same thing, but a beautiful entry here in the market long this morning to play into 10 o'clock. And really then, uh, you could have been done for the day, or you could have waited for a later setup in the market. Now let's look here at, actually you could be in this right now. I don't know if the market gets back up to the high of the day here before the close. It might, it might, it very, very, very well might. Two hours left, it could. Either way, no matter how we close today, today is just another day of confirmation that the market will make it over the high and it's looking to set up sooner rather than later. I don't know exactly when. But the high here is 189.02 and 188.96. So that's the next target. I think the next time we get there, we get over it on that day. In other words, I don't think we retest it and hold or come in or do any wiggly jigglies. I think the next time we get up there, we're going to go right over it. I think we're going to go right over it aggressively. And it'll be interesting to see where we open tomorrow. I, I have absolutely no idea how we're going to gap tomorrow morning. Uh, best case scenario for bullish is neutral in the gap or small gap up. You know, if the market gaps up over the number though, it's going to still run too. If we gap down, I have to see the number. I, I, this is interesting here how we are have been traded to this area. I, I don't know how we're going to open tomorrow morning or where we're going to gap in the pre-market, but I did call this gap up today. It did it. And I called that we're going to get over the highs. I called it the whole last month when we were coming in and people thought we were making the double tops, which you know, is not going to hold. So what's going to take place when we get over this area is a couple of things. One, shorts are going to get stopped out. And smart shorts, although really this was never a smart trade to do short, but let's just say people that realize they made a mistake should never have shorted this market will exit their short trade here at, the, at where their paper stop should be at 189. So there will be short covering, which will create green. Then the next thing that's going to happen is this is an entry for some people that are watching it who don't know if it's going to get over the high, who don't know how to read charts and price and gaps like me, and they will say, you know what, I'm getting in this long if it goes, here, it goes over here. So then new entries will come into the market at 189. It will be an entry for some people. Or they should already be in this long if you want to be in it. The other thing that will happen is the actual people that are lifting the market, the power buying, the power money, the money that's lifting the market will, will, is going to make the move over the area, up to the area and beyond. And so that's already going to be in full force. So that's going to be driving it. It's a driver. That's the driver. And then the 
blowout is going to happen with the shorts getting stopped out and the new buyers coming in at that number. So the next time we get over the high, it's going to be an aggressive move with a large fat green bar and a rally that could last for five solid days. I mean, I think the rally over this high is going to be massive. It's going to be a big green bar, which we haven't had in here, and I think it's going to be a continuation that could go for five days, three to five days of green bullishness just straight up, up to the moon. So everybody that's short in here or killed their longs are going to miss this payday here over the high, and I've been calling this long for all this whole time. I was calling the market still bullish in here, in here, in here, in here, even in here, in here. So... There's never any reason to short this market, and it's just not extended whatsoever. But I want to point this out. Do you see this? This is the kind of thing that could happen here over the high, except for it's going to be different than this. This is a retracement of this pull-in. It's going to be more aggressive than this, more suitable for buying. And also, you know, we're looking for some massive green bars in here, which you see we haven't had. I mean, we really haven't had, so it's prepping to do it. So... You know, you can see here people that are still long didn't add in here in the buy setup or even here because they're like waiting to see if we can get up over this. That's why I know that new buying is going to come into this point. And whenever a new position comes in, a new new buying or new selling if you're in a short, okay, when new buying comes in at the point of entry, it makes a push, okay? And you're also going to get the push when the short's getting stopped out. So again, timing is, is always the thing. When is it going to happen? Is it going to happen today? Is it going to happen tomorrow? It's 2.07. It's getting late here. We don't make it over the high today, although there was potential for it to happen this morning. Kind of ran out of steam because we've been gapping and gapping and gapping, but nice, beautiful bullish move in this buy this morning if you did it, or the Qs. Qs are at the point where they made the lift, and the SPY has been trading ahead of the Qs for a couple of days here. So finally, it's catching up. Markets look very cohesive now. Nice bullish move. It could be in the SPY long here. It could get up to the high of the day here, a little bit above it here into the close. Two more hours. But I don't think we get over 189 today. <laughs> Although I, I say that, you know, tippy-toeing because we could. Why? Because the market's bullish. And I've been calling the market bullish. And when you're in something that's in a strong trend, which the market is in a strong uptrend, anything can happen. You can go to the target. You can go to the target. You can go to the dream target and go beyond. That's why you never trade against the trend. That's why you're always with the trend. Because you never know what type of move or volatility and momentum you can get in something when you're in the trend correctly. And in the case of this market, it's bullish. A lot of people kill long overnight trades and poor positions they were in with this pull in the market. It's a shame. They're going to miss the big payday here when it comes in the market when it blows over the high. So it'll be interesting to see how tomorrow sets up. Could be touch and go in the gap tomorrow. But overall, the market's bullish. Look for it to get over 189. The next target, target is 190. And... I really don't have any targets after that. We'll just kind of see how it comes. But definitely 190 is in sight. This is Melissa with the StockSwitch.com. If you would like to learn how to read gaps in the market or stocks, the gap class is this weekend, April 5th and 6th. I'm doing a bonus day three on this class only, which is going to be Saturday, Sunday, and Tuesday, if you'd like to do it. Email me at Melissa at the StockSwitch.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic day.